Black Brother, Black Brother by Jewel Parker Rhodes. Part two, chapter four. Advance, retreat, advance, advance, retreat. I've been squatting, letting my core be my strength. First position, right foot vertical, leads, heel toe, heel toe, forward. Advance, advance. One arm's outstretched, the other's behind me at a right angle. My hand flops at the wrist. Retreat. Left leg horizontal, heel toe, heel toe, slides back. It isn't easy. Legs have to move fluid. Coach calls the command, and no matter what it is, I have to be ready. Retreat. Advance. Retreat. Retreat. Retreat, he shouts. I stumble. This is nonsense. Weeks we've been practicing footwork. I don't even have a sword. You'll get a sword when you're ready. I'm ready. You think so? Coach looks down at me. If I say yes, Coach will say I'm being arrogant, proud. What are you teaching me? Dancing? Coach laughs, hands me a water, ball, water bottle. I'm teaching patience. Coach turns full circle, studying the gym, as if he's remembering. Sometimes when he's teaching, he gets dreamy, wistful. If it was me, I'd brag all the time about having been one of the best fencers in the world. Coach rubs his neck, staring at the gym wall with its dirty windows covered by bars. Swiftness, intelligence can win a match, but patience is the real necessary skill. Advance, he barks. I sink into first position. Again, one arm up, the other arm stretch, outstretched, fist balled around a pretend sword. Advance, advance, retreat. Coach's voice unsettles me. There's an anger in his voice, but I don't think he's angry at me. I hold position, eyes forward, as coach circles me. My thighs are sore, trembling, but I'm in better shape. Trey and Dad have been helping, running, wrestling, stretching with me. Coach has taught me form, fencer's form. Back straight, sink low, keep your body, the core, strong. Never rock the body. Only feet move. Quickly, slowly, backward or forward. I don't move. Keep your eyes on your opponent, coach has drummed into my head. So, even though nobody's across from me, I keep my eyes and pretend sword fixed. Good job, Dante, coach pats me on the back. Your dad has a surprise for you. My dad, I straighten. Coach looks at the wall clock. Ten. About now. Trey bursts through the gym doors, lugging long nylon bags. Dad's parking. I've got the goods. I rush to help. What are you doing here? Trey says, hey, coach. Dumping the bags, he stretches out his hand. Nice to meet you. I study coach, scared of what he might say. Please don't ask surprise. Ask, you're the white brother? Cool, collected, coach shakes Trey's hand. Good to meet Dante's brother. How do you know? You look just like him. That's what I think too, says Dad, carrying several black vinyl bags. Coach extends his hand. Arden Jones. William Ellison. I elbow Trey. He elbows me back. Your son has a gift. Wait, what? What? My dad looks proud, but then he's always proud of me. My baby brother, blurts Trey disbelievingly. I punch his shoulder. Until today, he didn't complain once about not having a sword. You kidding me? asked Trey, shocked. How you fence without a sword? What's it been? Weeks, Coach grins. You did that on purpose? Coach ignores me. I shake my head. Coach outwitted me and I'd been too dumb. Or had I? Was he testing my patience? Well, the fencing world gets better today, hollers Trey, opening the nylon bags. Swords. Sleek, long steel swords with curved handles. Treasures, serious treasure, I think. I've got masks, jackets, and gloves. Dad stoops, opening his bag. I'm overwhelmed. Coach says I've got a gift, and Dad and Trey are here supporting me. In New York, Mom and Dad were always buying stuff for Trey's basketball team. Middlefield prep doesn't need the help, but that doesn't stop them from cheering, going wild in the stand. Trey's good, a high scorer, good on defense, too. 
You want to learn how to fence? Coach is looking at Trey. I hold my breath. I want to shout, this is my team. But I don't have a team. There's just me and Coach at the Boys and Girls Club every Saturday. My world. Ignoring Trey, I study the wood floor. You should do it, Dad encourages. Nah, it's Dante's thing. I exhale, relieved. Trey winks. Perfect understanding. Trey's the best brother. He's the one who reminded me to fight my own battles. Dante needs sparring partners. With your height, you'd be perfect. Trey doesn't look at coach. I'm surprised. Trey always stands tall, seems confident. Well, good thing I invited Zion and Zara. Like magic, Zion and Zara burst through the gym doors. Hey, says coach. Brother and sister, both lean, taller than me, overflow with confidence. Happiness, too. This is Mr. Ellison, Dante's father. You the brother? asks Zion. Of course he is, snaps Zara. I want to hug, well, maybe high-five Zara. Now I know she's special, seeing my brother. What's your name? Trey. My brother smiles goofy and I groan. He thinks Zara's beautiful, too. If he becomes competition, I'll lose. Let's get to work. Trey and Dad sits in the stand. First position, Coach yells. Zion, Zara, copy Dante. Feet at right angle, back arm up. Hand flopped over, relaxed. Sword arm straight, he circles us. Good, thanks to Mr. Ellison, we have swords. He lifts a sword from the bag. A foil. He hands one to each of us. A foil can be used forever. It is the most basic sword, but don't think it isn't powerful. Great men and women have fought honorably with a foil. What women? asks Zara. Look it up, shouts Coach, keeping focused on the lesson. Press your thumb and index finger against the grip. Thumb and finger control the blade, not your wrist or arm. My thumb and index finger touch the cool grip. My fingers curl about the handle. Lightly but firmly, fingers, not the wrist and arm, help guide the thumb and index. I test, trying to point. Here, there, up, down, side to side. Dante, not from the wrist and arm, shouts Coach. You don't want to signal your attack. Coach extends his sword. Watch, try to guess which way my point tips. My we watch. It's hard anticipating which direction. You can't see Coach's fingers and his arm doesn't move. The blade's tip has a life of its own. Coach's face is tight, drawn, intensely focused. I wonder, who's he fighting? Who's his imaginary opponent? Your eyes, I shout, a giveaway. Your eyes shift slightly, ever so slightly toward where you're going to strike. Excellent, answers Coach, well done. He walks towards me. What are you going to do when your opponent wears a mask? Zion and Zara laugh. The coach is proud of me. He squeezes my shoulder like dad does. Rule number one, see everything. Not just the blade, but the legs, trunk, arms, tilt to the head. Train the eye, look for subtle signs, the subtlest of intention. Coach kneels, he's kid sized now. He waves Zion and Zara and me close. He looks at each of us, one by one. It's easier to see now, but in a real match, everyone is in a white suit, a white and mesh mask, hands are gloved, but there's still plenty to see. An excellent fencer sees it all. That's what you're going to be, excellent. All for one, one for all, shouts Zara. Show off, quips Zion. Zara grips my hand, Zion's hand, and lifts them high. Champions! How do you know, I ask. Zara drops my hand and points. Coach, we've got the best coach. Grinning, Coach shakes his head. The black count is the man. I like how Zara talks direct, believing every word she says, as though believing alone makes everything true. Arden Jones is the best coach. Who's the black count? On guard, Coach yells, rising. The call for your opponent to prepare to defend himself. He sinks down into first position. This is your power start for both offense and defense. 
all action stems from this core strength. Line up. Me, Zion, and Zara position ourselves. On guard. Our knees bend, our torsos lower. Left arms pull back, right arms extend. Quickly glancing at Zion and Zara, I admire their intensity and focus. Separate from me, yet we're all together. I get an inkling of why Trey likes sports. Team, teamwork, a different kind of family. Dad, elbows on knees, is relaxed, happy, leaning forward. Trey's expression is intense, watchful, hungry. What's that mean? Coach yells, I move, forward. Toe to heel, toe, heel. I enjoy fencing more after I beat Alan. He's my opponent, always, on guard. I advance. Soon, I'll attack.